वी आर एट रेनो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड ऑटोमेशन सिंप्लीफाइड द विजन इज टू बी अ प्रॉफिटेबल कंपनी ऑफरिंग क्वालिटी प्रोडक्ट्स टू ग्लोबल कस्टमर्स इन द एरिया ऑफ इंडस्ट्रियल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड फैक्ट्री फ्लो ऑटोमेशन वी आर विद मिस्टर अजय भागवत सी ओ एंड फाउंडर ऑफ रेनू इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स प्राइवेट लिमिटेड एज वेल एज मिस्टर अभिजीत आई लाइक टू इंट्रोड्यूस मिस्टर अजय भागवत अलमो He is also a director on various renowned company boards such as uh, KPIT, Spectrum Automation, Galenis Scientific, Chairman of MCC RA Electronics Committee, a B.Tech from IIT Mumbai, MS from the University of Iowa and University of Illinois, Urbana Campaign. He has received the prestigious award, including Entrepreneur of the Year, supported E-Cell, the Pune chapter. also the founding member of iit's bombay's uh, sir bahar musical evening a co-founder of vibe point orchestra passionate about music and a diverse interest welcome mr bhagwat um i would like to know why should organizations think about industrial automation so i'm not sure if they even have an option at this time because automation is synonymous to of uh, building the quality a consistency and repeatability that is required out of any industrial output so uh, without automation it becomes very difficult to control their quality and uh, for right business i think automation is uh, a need of the hour uh, in the past it was unfortunately considered as something that replaces labor but today instead of considering that as a replacement for labor it is more about building the repeatability and uh, speed of uh, manufacturing and uh, most companies worldwide would consider automation as a part of living rather than as an option that they would entertain maybe i'll pass this question to mr abhijit how easy it is to integrate your offerings of industrial automation into the existing systems and environment of your clients uh, very easy actually because uh, if you just look at our products you can even if you look at them you'll actually see that they can be fit on any machine uh, they have communication protocols that can be that can communicate with any machine in the world we support drivers uh, we have made them look very generic so that they can be used on a lot of different types of machines so for example one of our biggest customers is an elevator company so they're using this uh, our our device as our hmis and plcs on an elevator and the same product are also goes on a printing machine so you can imagine the the diversity that we can offer in our products Over the years of serving various clients across the globe, how do you think automation has helped improve their strategy planning? So we have worked with uh, many many uh, customers, including large automation manufacturers, machine makers, and so on. So some of the examples, like Abhijit gave, for example, uh, what is the best way to control a printing machine in which you want to get a volume of say three thousand T-shirts to be printed per hour? now without automation there is no way you can do that in the past they would print about a thousand or maybe 100 to 500 t-shirts per hour so increasing speed of manufacturing getting the right quality out of it uh, was necessary for their own survival so automation has to help in such strategies the example abhijit gave about elevators in the past they used to take about two days to commission one elevator today they do it in 30 minutes using our uh, plcs and hmis that go on that elevator and also our uh software that allows them to monitor and uh, uh help commission uh, very easily with a simple cell phone in 30 minutes the elevator is ready with commissioning so strategy if thinking about strategy i'm sure our customer strategy is to grow their own bottom line and the way to do that is by improving quality getting higher production and getting the ease of operations and also the user experience like we are in the user experience business so if the customers customer the machine makers customer is ultimately the operator of the machine if they are happy working with the machine it is it falls right in the strategic uh, area of our customer and that's where we participate and help our customers lovely um abhijit how did automation help your own organization connect with your overall goals oh uh it actually made it very convenient so i can give you an example so today sitting in my office i can actually see what's going on in my factory i can see what are the products that are being manufactured today um at an hourly basis my products are manufactured 
in uh, they're actually automated so i can i can actually get data i can uh, i can predict the efficiency of manufacturing because of automation and also most of our development processes like engineering sales manufacturing all of them are automated and that has made life very easy for the both of us if i can add to that uh, we ourselves are a manufacturer we do 100% manufacturing in house right from uh, uh, pcbas to plastics and box building and so on so we look at how much automation has helped us our, uh, for ourselves and we always put ourselves in the shoes of our customer and the best way to do that is you being your manufacturing uh, organization yourself it helps us build the right kind of product and services that automatically help our customers as well out of your experience what in your opinion causes frustration and headaches for organizations today uh, in our industry the biggest frustration comes from um, the fact that uh, people uh, implement automation but don't get the right kind of support and training and uh, so in our opinion a half hearted implementation of automation is almost worse than no automation at all so that is one thing that causes frustration and that's why we maintain a large team of engineers who help our customers to go through their process of integrating our solutions with their machines with their sol- with their systems so that the ultimate success is guaranteed we actually uh, uh, help them uh, define what is it that they want uh, execute it supply the right kind of products that allow you allow them to uh, implement that solution and we overtake the uh, or they take care of the frustration that typically arises when they simply buy a product but don't know what to do with it and uh, not having a strategy in mind so this is a little bit frustrating so for your clients uh, whom you have served or offered your products how do you measure the automation success uh, there are very easy management parameters so management parameters could be like i talked about earlier uh, how is my manufacturing process my own solution becoming better you know is it becoming faster better cheaper etc these are the simple parameters that you can imagine however there is something much more than that the soft parameters like how are the people uh happy becoming happier by using the solutions in automation that's probably more important to us uh similarly uh how easy what is to in- was it to integrate how we align with our customers own goals i think those are the things that help us quite a bit and that that we cannot we can never uh, neglect those aspects so just measuring standard parameters frankly is a necessity but it's not sufficient to measure the success of implementation of automation there's a whole nine yards that go along with it and each and every one of those things are very important so i would just like to i, I would just like to add on with an example so he talked about the tangibles but one of the intangibles that i see within our organization is we use our own products to automate our own processes and that is an intangible because we are actually very confident on our own products that can automate our offices you if you come to our offices of fire alarms even the machines on which we manufacture use our own products to automate and i think that is also one one key parameter the intangible which is which talks about the success of automation so reno electronics is exhibiting at automation expo 2023 what do you look forward to Oh, uh, we look. I mean, we look forward to la- launching new products. So, like you can see, the the capacitive touch HMI. So, we are actually moving up the value chain. Uh, so, we are building products. We are ruggedizing our products for more rugged and harsh environments. And uh, we intend to meet new people in the automation exhibition and just make friends all over. So, you can see, for example, uh, you will see. look at a product like this you know you can see the tell the difference between that product and the right one next to it that one can be mounted outdoor in sunlight now we are a company which we don't touch, we don't just make uh, like uh, commoditized products but we also continue to climb up the value chain look at this elevator display if you have a million dollar house if you have an elevator in that house you want that kind of a screen and not only that but the experience user experience the fact that i can proudly show a great looking product not just a functioning product but a great looking product 
if I have visitors in my home and I have that in my elevator, I would be proud of showing that. That's the that's the experience that we are giving to the customer, and it frankly it doesn't cost that much more compared to the off the shelf uh, product either. This is where we differentiate ourselves globally, and that's what we want to exhibit to the people here. Like Abhijit said, learn from other friends that we meet here, and happy to see everybody here. Right. So that was Mr. Ajay Bhagwat, CEO, founder, Renault Electronics, and Mr. Abhijit. Thank you all the best at Automation Expo 2023.